What's up guys? Collector B here. Happy Sunday. We are back with another toy haul. And again, what a disappointing week, wasn't it? Where's their McFarlane's? Exactly. Yeah, we uh, looked all over this week. Targets, Walmarts, everywhere. No new McFarlane's. Well, sorry, let me rephrase that. We did find the Aquaman. Ugh, looks terrible. Uh, didn't pick that up. Found him at every Target we went to, but no dead man. And then we also found the movie Shazam, but there's no point in me getting that because I got the gold label Shazam before that. I like that one. I'm good with that. So no McFarlane's. All my Walmarts have Duke Thomas and Grifter and just still some of the Batman figures, huh? Like, oh yeah. my goodness. So Don't uh, forget yeah. the Drowned. Oh, the Drowned was on sale. <laughs> Hello. So um, I mean, we did get some mail calls. We did find some stuff. I did get some clearance stuff. Some Power Ranger stuff is on clearance. Um, not going to show that in this video, but did get some of that stuff. But nothing that we really, really wanted, minus a couple things uh, from mail call wise. And again, found something that I didn't know was out. So that's cool. But yeah, if you guys are new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, uh, we do weekly Sunday toy haul videos. So um, thank you all for the support and all you guys who keep coming back you guys are fantastic so let's just get into it so as you see we got some more power ranger street fighter stuff i'm actually pretty excited about this and that was the mail call from hasbro pulse but we're gonna start with something else that didn't know was out so we have and i have to read this because it's a mouthful the pokemon select mountain cave environment and figure display pack boom Okay, so my buddy Jason, J Figures and such, uh, found these, I think, at GameStop, but I did find these at Target. Uh, Pokemon Select Series, if you guys follow me, you guys know I do collect these. I think they're pretty cool. They're pretty cheap for the price. How much was this guy? It wasn't even 15 20 right? It was like $15.99. Not bad. Um, he sent me a picture of these at GameStop, and then I went to Target, and I found them. Now, we have only seen... Did we see the water one? It was one? this one and a different one. No, I it was the water one. Was it it the had water to be the one? water one, yeah. So we did see, or Jason saw the water one. I think we've only seen so this one, I think. One. But they do have three on the back, and you can see there's another one with Bulbasaur. At least, is it Bulbasaur? Yes, it is Bulbasaur. Have not seen that one. Um, but these are kind of cool. They kind of give you a like display with these little Pokemon figures, and they are supposed to fit every... Uh, Pokemon figure this size. Where did I see that? It like says, it says somewhere like fits this size Pokemon figure. So they definitely do come off the stand. So pretty cool. Um, found this guy at Target. Actually seen this one quite a bit. The water one I probably will know will know will not get because what it's horsey and I don't remember what that one's name is, but I'm not a fan. The Bulbasaur one, I probably would get, though, just because I do have some grass Pokemon and stuff like that, which would be pretty cool. So, um, But this one is cool. It comes with Zubat and... Is it Tyrant? I can't remember. It doesn't say his name. Oh, yeah, Tyrant. I was right. The Fossil. Tyrant. So, pretty cool. Let's see what this is about. I was actually pretty excited to find this because I think it's a uh, pretty cool, like... They actually are starting to give you like a display piece with them. So kind of interesting. And actually, I do want to see this because they always throw new ones on here that I've never seen. This looks like the same as the last one. So again, I said in the last one, I would really like Magmar. But Magmar and Electabuzz would be awesome. Even the Sylveon would be really cool. So let's see. So there it is out of box. Um, again, nothing crazy. I don't think these are going to be crazy articulated, but... Uh, the display piece is pr pretty cool. Kind of, oh, goodness. Jeez. Kind of a interesting set to do, though. They did Tyrant and, oh, my goodness, and Zubat, which is everybody's favorite is Zubat. So I'll pull him out. Wow, he don't move at all. Bummer. I for sure thought his head would at least move, but, and he's not going to stand except for on his tail. There's Tyrant. I do really like Tyrant. I used him in, I don't remember what gen he came out, either 4th or 5th gen. He's a fossil. You know what? This Zubat's actually pretty cool. He doesn't even come off this. Oh, he does. Okay. So, and then you get Zubat. He doesn't stand at all. Huh. Well, like I that's... got him to stand for a second. 
I just got to pop him back on the tail. And then there is Zubat, which, again, like I said, everyone's favorite. And we've got this display. Okay. So, kind of disappointing on these that neither one of them actually move. Oh, there he goes, and he stands up there. Uh, Zubat's stand does come out, so I guess if you wanted to, like, fly him up in the air, that's cool. At least the stand comes out. Um, not bad. The Zubat doesn't have articulation either, but you can actually move the wings and his legs, I guess. Uh, but Tyrant, yeah, kind of a kind of a bummer. Mouth doesn't move, head doesn't move, legs don't move. I for sure thought that his legs or his head would move, but... Here is the display piece. It's nothing crazy. Um, I mean, it's cool looking. I really do like it. I really like the underneath here. I think the colors look really awesome, especially if you threw like a really cool light on it. I think it would look really cool. The top of the cave, you know, it is cool that they put the hole there, um, but nothing crazy. And then you can just set the figures in there. Nothing moves on it. Feels Actually, it feels better than like the McFarland stand bases that they do but it's nothing crazy. Detail's okay. It's not bad. I mean, for $15 to get two little guys and a display, pretty cool. So again, you could put him up here, except he's not going to want to stand. You could put Zubat down there, which now, of course, like he doesn't fit, which is kind of funny. Um, but I did grab two others. Let's just see how they look. So that's kind of cool. You can throw two mm -hmm. others in there and they fit in really well. So um, that's nice. It's not bad. I mean, it would be really cool to have like a bunch of these as like a background piece for your Pokemon. So, I mean, I'm okay with it. For $15, you get two Pokemon. Who I just dropped to <laughs> that. I can't, I can't do nothing today. Um, and a display, which is pretty cool, actually. Not a bad price. So, yeah. Not bad. Cool. I know. I wish Tyrant would have moved. That would have been really cool. Yeah, that's but a bummer. That's okay. So, Targets, uh, apparently GameStop as well. Again, they're like 15 bucks. So, you know, may get them, may not. We'll see. We'll see what else we get. But now we are into my mail call, which was from Hasbro Pulse, which was super cool. Um, I started buying these, and I did not think I was going to like them, and I actually do really like them. So, I have really high hopes for these two. Boom! We have Morphed, Cammy, Stinging, Crane, Ranger from Power Rangers Lightning Collection, uh, Street Fighter crossover. So these two were actually the ones that made me buy all four of them. I thought these two looked the best when they first started showing pictures, and I was really excited to get these. So I'm really hoping that she is awesome. I'm really curious about her hair here, because almost in all the pictures, it looks like her hair is in different positions. So... Hopefully there's some cool articulation in her hair. And I do like the effect she comes with. Uh, pretty cool there. So we'll see. Hopefully paint apps are good on this. And hopefully we have the right figure in here. Uh, we haven't had issues with these though, huh? Like, I mean, mm -mm. not like the like regular Power Rangers I've been getting. Like the two-pack and stuff like that. We've had some major paint app issues and stuff like that. But this, no issues at all. Um, I, mean, I still have not had a figure swap with these boxes not yet. yet not yet knock on wood but again oh just fantastic man it sucks because i really like the art on that box as well i think these arts the, these arts the art on the box is really really cool and just for me to open it up and throw away just kind of sucks and we've got there you go so let's go over her accessories okay See what we got. Ooh. I can't even get it out. Okay. So she does come with that same stand that all three of them come with. That is probably my least favorite thing that they have. Um, the stand's just not amazing to me, which is funny that she comes with the stand because I think. I guess you could put that on there. Um, she comes with two things that don't necessarily go on the stand. So she does come with the bird like all the other ones, which these birds are so just, I mean, like look at its neck. 
I can't even tell where its neck oh, was at yeah. first. Um, they're kind of cool. I mean, they'd be cool with like other display pieces, I think, but not really. I'm not a huge fan of them here. I think the wings should be more spread out, which I guess I could mold over time. But it does have a circle there. Okay, well, I believe you can put it on here. This stand is just terrible. Like I said, I'm just not a huge fan of this stand at all. But there, that to me is about the only piece that for her would go on the stand. They don't even show her with anything on the stand on the box or anything. So, um, because she comes with a leg piece and a hand piece after that. So, yeah. Totally looks like a bird. Right? It looks really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are not my favorite part of this, but that's okay. So, then this is her foot piece. Um, it's like a drill kind of. I guess, like, there's a circle for her foot. You could probably get that on there, but then it's, like, straight up like this, which, uh, you know. But this is kind of cool for a foot piece. I like them giving them foot pieces and hand pieces, which is awesome. And this one, I think, is probably my favorite effect out of all of them. The only thing, man, they totally get you. I guess it I guess it's supposed to be so here's her hand effect from here it looks more circle to me from here it's more oval um I kind of wish it was a little bit more circled but it's supposed to be like her fist is this way so it's oh. supposed to be up there and you can do I it, like it was gonna this. Be bigger. yeah I did too but that's okay um I do like the effect though it's nice that they gave you just like a fist punch effect which is really cool and then she does come with two alternate hands these alternate hands are pretty cool, actually. One is open and one is kind of a palm with the uh, your thumb in your palm, which is pretty cool. But she does have like some knuckle bracelets or something on them as well. Knuckle bracelets? I don't know. What should I call those? Bows would be like brass knuckles. Well, okay. And then she has brass knuckles. Legos. Legos on her hand. So there's the open hand. So pretty cool. I do like these accessories, actually, with her. I think they're pretty cool. And let's see. Awesome. Paint. Paint looks pretty good. I'm pretty stoked. She's got skinny arms, like usual. I'll just show her, and then we'll see if the hair moves and stuff like that. She looks good. I actually really like her helmet a lot. There she is. She's not standing flat-footed, but um, I think it looks really good, actually. The helmet looks fantastic, and that hat on her actually looks pretty good. I was not, like, a huge fan of it. I know she wears that hat in Street Fighter, um, but wasn't sure how it was going to look. The, you know, the paint apps look great. I really like the coloring on her legs. I like that it's light blue and then kind of has, like, the, I guess, the thunder or lightning bolts all over, which is cool, and then kind of goes to the green and the shield and then the green helmet. Um, her hands look good. I mean, paint apps look fantastic. I think there is a black mark on her back. Nothing crazy. Ooh, she's standing pretty good, which is nice. But I like the costume. I think it looks pretty good. I'm actually pretty excited to pose her with that fist punch accessory. So, yeah. What do you think? Eh? Yeah, you don't like it. No. I figured you didn't. It looks good, though. Yeah, like, as far good. as paint and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, so as far as articulation, yep, she can do the splits. She's got a thigh swivel, bends there, no toe joint, but, you know, that's never been there for them. Um, again, hands are good, elbows are good, and we do have a bicep swivel. Now the hair. Oh, cool, it pops off. Oh. I'm glad I didn't break it. So it is just a peg for the hair. Which is kind of interesting. So I'm guessing, um, as you can see, there is just a hole back there. You just plug it into the helmet. And there it is. So you can move the hair kind of wherever. I mean, it's going to pop out and you can re-put it in. But it's kind of cool that they make it pop out. Because then you can change the direction of her hair however really you want. Um, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I'm, I'm glad it at least moves. Like, that's nice that you can put them both on, like, the same side mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, that's pretty cool. Um, her head, not much movement up and down with her head. She can go all the way around. Obviously, the uh, hair will pop out. And then ab crunch, she's got a really good ab crunch. So, um, I'm actually pretty impressed. I actually really like this thing a lot. And I do want to see, though. Yes, that's cool. And then I think... 
foot hand. That's perfect. Okay, her effects fill out. Mm, that hand's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. But, just trying to get her in a kind of cool pose. I feel like this thing's going to fall off a lot, though. She stands actually pretty good. Yeah, see, that thing's going to just keep falling off for me. I could be putting it on the wrong hand, but... I would hope they would make it to where it didn't matter what hand you put it on. There she is. And she fell again. But I actually really like it. I think she's pretty solid. I'm actually pretty excited about her. Um, I'm actually digging the hair. I, I'm fine with it breaking off. I'm glad you can just move it around. Um, like I said, I think they've done a pretty good job with these. And I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I was not a huge fan of these. Uh, well, I'm just not a huge fan of Street Fighter. but So I was like, eh. But these are really cool. I like it. And her foot. I believe it's supposed to go on her foot. Yeah. Oh. Like that. There she is. So there's all her effects. Not bad. I probably will not use that foot piece, though, honestly. And this is just ah, beautiful. North, northwest, right? Okay, so yeah, pretty cool. I'm digging it. I'm really excited to open this next one, but this is pretty cool. Cammy's pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. And she stands fantastic. Dope. Dope. So Hasbro Pulse, uh, I do know they are on Big Bad Toy Store still. I don't think they're shipping yet. And you can probably find them in comic book shops. I have not seen these in stores. I don't think they are gonna be in like Walmart or Target. So, but before we get to the Morphed Ken Soaring Falcon Ranger, we are back with Funko Pops. What the Funko is up, guys? We're back with Pops. Hooray. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Um, yeah, so we've got some mail calls this week, clearance finds, and new Pops. New. So let's start with the clearance find. We've got... <sighs> Mr. Shohei Otani, a.k.a. Showtime. <laughs> Most I, random pop. Yeah, I'm not an Angels fan. I'm a Rockies fan. Um, but, but let's be honest, the Rockies suck. They suck. No. And, I mean, how can you not love this dude? I wish he played for the Rockies. Yeah, he's a thug. I mean, he mm -hmm. pitches and hits, yeah. and he's, he's just... He's great. He's just cool. And it was clearance. And it was clearance. I looked at this thing forever, and I said I would get it if it went on clearance. Unfortunately, it was only 20% off, not the 50% off that they've been having. Boo! But game stop. It was still only like seven, eight bucks, so... So now she has a room full of pops and a random baseball player pop. Yeah, basically. Ooh, Ooh he's on a stand. He's on a stand. As you break him. Shohei Otani. Looks really good. Yeah, this is really cool. I do. I like the sports pops, but like, <laughs> that's just a whole other thing. They're coming and, out with a lot of football mm -hmm. sports pops, too. Yeah, this is cool. They yeah. even have his, like, cleats digging into mm -hmm. the dirt. Really cool. Yeah. Where are you going to put that, though? Shohei uh, Otani. I don't know. Showtime. I'll probably... I would assume I'd end up getting more sports pops. Uh-huh. Maybe. Sure. We'll see. But Boom. there's Mr. Showtime. That was GameStop. 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 Yeah. As well. It's an ad icon. Polaroid camera 2022 fall convention limited edition. And so tell the story about the Polaroid. What about it? What happened before we found this? What did we get? A Polaroid. <laughs> They're really cool cameras. I still haven't even popped it open, though. 
Yeah, we got one from work. They gave us a Polaroid camera. And then we walked into GameStop, and guess what? Boom. There was a Funko of. A Polaroid camera. Yeah. Really cool. Really cool. This was full price, though. Yeah, full price. Because new. Does his head move? His head does move. <laughs> yeah, no, he's going to be oh, stiff as ever. His whole ever. thing is a head, so. Yeah. That is really cool, though. It'd be better, though, if he was, like, pulling it out of himself, you know? Okay. This is a I family know. channel. <laughs> they should have put, like, a picture a, on a, the picture. Yeah. That would have be been cool. cool. Oh, I like his shoes. It's going to be the gold label edition. The gold label <laughs> edition, huh? So McFarlane's making pops now. Okay. Watch. He's going to start making <laughs> pops. Just watch. Yeah, that's cool. I do wish there was, I don't know what picture, maybe like some trees or something. That would have been cool. Or a selfie of himself. A selfie of himself. A Polaroid a, of a Polaroid. a Polaroid. Dope. I do like that, <laughs> actually, a lot. It should have been of Showtime. Right. Cool. Really cool. Now we have got more Office Pops. She's really excited. For Where these. did you get these? Toy Bonanza. Toy Bonanza. For retail. com For retail. These were both $15 a piece. So I guess retail. Yeah. Like $2 I mean, more than not retail. Bad at all. And I got free shipping. So. so check out Toy Bonanza for Pops. They also do a like three for 30 you can do, but it's like on select Pops. So. Ooh. Boom. Who we got here? We've got Golden Face. And. I would like to call him CPR Dwight, but it's, <laughs> yeah, it's just funny. Dwight it's just Shrew. Dwight Schrute. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Stress relief. These one are of fantastic. The funniest episodes. Which one are you opening first? Probably Golden Face. Oh I know. come on! I know. Did you even open oh. Michael Scarn on here? Yeah, I think you did open Michael Scarn. Yeah, she I'm does have Michael sure. Scarn too. See, I I wouldn't even open this out of box, but that's just me. Well, good thing it's not yours. Hey, Toby and Michael are on the back. Are they? Did you know that? And no. so is Daryl. She doesn't have Toby or Toby and Michael or Daryl. No. What does Toby have? I don't know. And she doesn't know. Guess what? What? What's on the box that I've missed so much? Is there a quote? There's a quote. No. What's it say? Uh, oh, someone's coming, all right. The only man who would care, Michael Scarn. See, I'm going gonna lure him here, then I'm gonna kill everybody. Then I'm gonna dig up Scarn's dead wife and I'm gonna hump her real good. <laughs> it says that on the box. Are you joking me? Wow, this is a family channel. Oh my god, like why oh Jim's like I didn't write this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's fantastic. I wish they would do that with every mm -hmm. pop, That'd honestly. Really cool. Open up a Pokemon pop. Pikachu, 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 <laughs> Pika Pika. Oh my god, this is great. Golden Ooh. face. Wow, he's part of the glitterati, isn't he? <laughs> wow. Oh, he's holding the hockey puck. Yeah. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. the bomb. I didn't realize that. The bomb. The gun looks great. Mm -hmm. Like a pop can come with a gun. I know. But McFarland yes. can't come with a gun. Move his head. Let's see this head movement. What? Oh, yeah. Gosh. Golden face, a.k.a. Jim Halpert. <laughs> Dang. That is, I'm like surprised how crazy glittery that is. Mm -hmm. And that it all stayed on there, yeah. honestly. Looks really good that's dope okay now cpr dwight why is this one your favorite the, uh, the episode uh, uh, uh. is hilarious staying alive <laughs> <laughs> like how can you not i remember you you were in, in the, the parking, parking lot, lot. <laughs> oh god why does it say funko pop blitz what is that i don't know it said that on Jim, too. What does it say? Or no, it doesn't. Which 
Collect and play with iconic characters in a brand new matching puzzle game that celebrates the fans of all of us. Funko Pop Blitz. We will not be playing that game, probably. Okay, let's see let's CPR see. Dwight. Check for an owner of Jesus. Check for Check a donor. For an organ donor oh. card. If he has one, we only have minutes to harvest. <laughs> I checked. He doesn't have a wallet. <laughs> Oh God, uh, we love the office, guys. I don't. I hope you guys, if you've watched us before, you probably realize that. But oh, she's she's excited. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on. Oh my it God. Looks great. It looks creepy, man. What's the point? He's got his cell phone. What does Kelly say? Only nerds wear their cell phone outside of their pocket. Yeah. <laughs> creepy man like how can you not love it it's creepy <laughs> his head is really hello loose. Clarice <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay put them all together let's let's see them all right we've got CPR Dwight he kind of looks like Vecna's face kind of golden face Polaroid Polaroid the Polaroid. And Showtime. Shohei? Otani. Otani. Super cool. You guys are going to have to let us know which one's your favorite. Yeah. I'm really digging that Polaroid, mm -hmm. honestly. I mean, it's actually really cool. For me, the winner's Golden Face. That's just for me. But, I, uh, yeah. But those are all awesome. Yeah. And show us your shirt. Oh. Godzilla, yeah. don't mind my hair, please. I'm in the middle of coloring it. Yeah. Where'd you get that? Box lunch. Box lunch. Yes, ma'am. Godzilla ma in the cup of noodles. Boom. Boom. Okay. So, that was this week's finds. Although, not a lot in stores. Again, it's kind of just the same stuff everywhere. So, please... Put new ones out because I need them. It's my year, <laughs> not collector, collector A's year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as always, pop out. We are back, and wow, those are solid, those are really cool. I'm actually really digging Golden Face, I think they're fantastic. And the Polaroid, take a picture, lasts Ooh. longer, right? <laughs> Really cool. So, I know, stupid. I know. Um, so, yeah, so that was Toy Bonanza. Um, found them online. They sell a lot of pops. So, if you guys are interested, go check out Toy Bonanza. Uh, it took probably like two weeks to get here, but really cool. We got these for retail, these two, which was super awesome. So, last thing we got. And then you guys can enjoy your week. Enjoy your week. I'm super excited for this. This is, again, why I started buying these. This is Morphed Ken Soaring Falcon Ranger. Boom. So, again, you've heard me say I am not a huge Street Fighter fan. Um, I like Street Fighter. I just, there was other fighting games I liked more. But this Power Ranger looks sick. I mean, it is basically a Red Ranger with just some more cool crap on him. I mean, he basically has a dragon shield, basically. I know it's not a dragon shield, but... And the coloring just looks awesome. And then he kind of has like a off his morpher. He has sashes. And he's got some cool effects too. I'm actually really digging how this looks. And like I said, this is pretty much why I got these. I saw this one. I saw Cammy, And I was like, okay, let's get them. So pretty excited. I'm curious. These are the only four Street Fighter ones that they've shown. Um, they are coming out with a Cobra Kai set. I'm not getting any of those except for the putty. I think the putty looks really cool. But... Um, I'm not a huge, I dislike Cobra Kai more than Street Fighter, so probably will not get any of those, um, but I'm curious if they make more Street Fighters. It makes sense who they started with, so we'll see. So, we've got effects, and we've got the Ranger, so pretty cool. Let's see. All right, like I said, my favorite part of all these. This stupid stand. This stupid, stupid stand. There it is. Um, now, his hawk looks, looks fantastic. I mean, this one's actually pretty cool. I will 
probably end up displaying. This might be the first one I display. Let's set it on there. That looks great, honestly. I'm not, I don't like usually display these pieces, so it's not a big deal to me if they, um, you know, look like that or look like this. But I mean, look at the difference. That's crazy. Yeah. I get this as a crane. This better. is not a hawk. Or that's a hawk, but like looks so much better. Um, okay. So then you do get a foot accessory and a hand accessory, which I it's hard to tell which one's which. This is the foot accessory. They're basically the same. I mean, which is kind of a bummer that you're basically getting two of the same accessory, but I'm okay with it. Like, it's all good. I Again, I may display him with one of these, probably not both. And then this is the hand, uh, the fist accessory. But again, kind of bummer they didn't make them a little different to me. So, interesting. He doesn't come with fist hands on. So then he gets his fist hands. And I will say these don't look the best best the white on his fingers fingertips is not the best but they are black and white fist hands with gloves basically which i'm okay with those aren't terrible the paint's not the best though that happens though with the black and white stuff mm -hmm. that's it's that's why i'm always scared to get a black and white spidey oh man that good or bad he, he's just so cool looking i mean he's got messed up paint everywhere not everywhere but quite a few places he is just so cool looking <laughs> i'm 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 digging it i'm digging it he looks sick like come on um you will be able to see some paint flaws here and there there's one on the back of his leg as well but that costume is awesome. I mean, the Red Ranger is obviously one of my favorites, as well as the green, but I love it. I love the black and white gloves with this whole ensemble here, you know? Really cool. The helmet, fantastic. The shield, I mean, even though these shields are not nearly as good as, like, kind of the Green Ranger or White Ranger shield, they just look really awesome. I'm, I don't even know if I want to put the fist hands on. I really like these hands for some reason. I mean, this is how he came out of box in this pose. I'm digging this pose already. He looks really, really cool. The belt looks good. I don't have any issues with that. The only thing I would say is there's just a couple paint apps here and there. His helmet looks fine, though, which is, again, my biggest thing with Power Rangers is if that helmet or extra face sculpt when they give you one, if it looks like crap, that's kind of a bummer because you want the helmet. You see his leg? It's kind of beat up, but, you mm -hmm. know, whatever. It's the back of the leg. I think... Oh, see this again. Like I said, this is why I got these. This one's my favorite by far already. And I really like the other two and I really like Cammy, but this one is fire. I love it. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. cool. Oh, I think he's so cool. So um, before I mess around with his articulation, I kind of want to just leave him in this pose because <laughs> I, I really like it. Um, we will show you. Well, now it's all messed up. Never mind. Let's do it. Okay, so as far as articulation, um, he's going to be the same as Cammy. You know, he can do the splits, which is great. He does have the thigh swivel bend there. These bend so well. I do wish they had a toe joint. A God, I can't ever say that. Toe joint. I really wish they did. I think it'd be awesome. I'm loving these hands. I really, really like these because a lot of times they put gloves on figures and you can't tell it's gloves. These, you can tell they're gloves. And honestly, the paint on these is better than the fist hands, mm -hmm. I think. I think they look really cool. I'm loving this design here. That's just really cool just to break up the black. It's just straight black. He does have a bicep swivel. Arms bend. Fantastic. His head, same thing. Only thing, they don't have much motion in their head, which is kind of a bummer. It can go all the way around, um, but he will... He's not going to have nearly as much as an ab crunch. He does have an ab crunch, but not like Cammy does. Um, but you can see, I mean, you can sit him all the way down. I love I love these Power Ranger figures. I think they do a really good job. But like I said, man, whew, I am, I'm digging this dude. Like, really, really crazy. He is, he's cool. He's really cool. So, I'm going to do this. There is Cammy. There is Ken. Uh. 
Ryu, I believe. I can't remember his name. There we go. And... Wow, why am I drawing a blank on her name? You even know her name. Uh, yep, I'm drawing a blank, guys. So <laughs> that's how much I uh, definitely pay attention to the Street Fighter. But really, really awesome. Yeah, Chun Li, Chun Li, my goodness, yeah, Chun Li. There, there we go. Um, they just they look really mm -hmm. awesome. I'm really digging this whole set. Honestly, I think it is a hundred times better than I thought it was gonna be. And I've really had no issues at all. I think the helmets are all awesome. I love the costumes. I've seen a bunch of people, and I think I kind of said it in my review, asking if this is supposed to be off-white. It is supposed to be off-white. I do kind of wish this was more white. I wish it was all white, but I know it's his costume. But other than that, I mean, these are really good. This one's probably my least favorite, Chun-Li, mm -hmm. um, just because her Bowser things, you know, whatever, yeah. like we said. But then... I mean, these three are fantastic. I'm really digging this. Super, super awesome. So if you have not got these, definitely, I would say get them. I love them. Um, I was going to put these on, but, I mean, you guys get it. One goes on the foot. One goes on the hand. He comes with fist hands. I, I don't feel like putting them on because I actually really like those hands. I think they're fantastic. So, yes, that's dope. So, again, we didn't find a ton this week. It was... Uh, it's not been a good 2023 hunting for me so far. I really have not got much. Again, some clearance finds. Um, I guess I could show you. No, whatever. We got some Power Ranger clearance finds. The blue one on the bike was on clearance for $15. I don't even know who he is, but the bike, like I'm going to take the bike. So $15 there. We got Cat, the pink Ninjetti for like six bucks, right? Yeah, like that. Six, seven, six. So um, definitely check your targets. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of wrestling, Star Wars, uh, Power Ranger, stuff like that on sale. So, you know, those are there. And then Walmart's putting a bunch of stuff in clearance too, but nothing that you're like, this should have been on clearance like 20 years ago. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, so hopefully this week we find those McFarlands at Walmart, the Batmans at Superman. Um, hopefully we find Dead Man. One of my boys has one for me as well, but man, it's, it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. Hasn't you it? poor thing. I know my poor thing, but man, I'm super excited to, ugh, super excited for these. These are fantastic. Honestly, I really wish they were in these boxes though. I would get to easily in a second least of these two for sure but um the pokemon stuff you know it's pretty cool i do like that you can put other people on it because i actually think eevee and charmander look better there um than the other two so that's cool pops are fantastic i'm i love all of them showtime is the man <laughs> we're both rockies fans by the way i really want the rockies to be good but the ownership is terrible and it just sucks it's terrible so but Oh, geez. Well, look who stayed standing. Yeah, <laughs> my boy. And this one, of course. Um, so, yeah, check these out if you have not already. And uh, follow us on Instagram. Link will be in the description below. We've been really slacking on pictures lately. We just, uh, <clears throat> we've been really busy. So, it's been kind of hard. We will do some pictures soon. I keep saying that. And we just don't. We also get ideas in our head. And then it doesn't work out. And then I'm just like, I don't want to do this no more. It's not fun. So, um and yeah, I've always told everybody I'm going to keep doing this until it's not fun. And these videos are fun. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. She loves you guys. She appreciates you guys. You guys are fantastic. Um, we may do a live Q&A soon. Soon. So let us know what you guys think about that. If you guys would be interested in that. Um, and yeah, that's it. So enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Enjoy your week and happy hunting to all of you. And as always, collectors never stop collecting.